Good morning, um, fellows. Um, my name is Herminia Cho um, from Belize, Central America, and I'm actually on the Climate Change Fellowship Program. Um, I actually was here in Butte, Montana, uh, working with uh, my host organization, NCAP, National Center for Appropriate Technology. And I do work for uh, Sustainable Harvest International, um, Belize. Um, our organization has been in existence since 1997. And um, since that time, um, the founder, uh, Florence Rito, was a, a Peace Corps once in um, Honduras, saw the, 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 the the, the issue of deforestation um, in Honduras and how that has been, um, been impacting Central America. And when she established this organization, uh, her focus was to, to address the, as the, our mission stays, is to, is to uh, provide training um, tools, um, training and tools to preserve our tropical forests. And of course, while doing that, you know, we're trying to overcome poverty. This organization focuses on five different areas. One of our main things is agroforestry. Uh, we look at agroforestry as one of the, the main, um, uh, main core uh, issues that needs to be addressed because deforestation is a big problem. Um, other issues that we look at are the environment. Um, another one would be um, the livelihood, uh, improved livelihood, um, food security, and of course the learning capacity is what comes up. Uh, in between those, uh, but those are the five um, core, uh, core aspects we look at where, um, with Sustainable Harvest. It's a five-year program that we work with farmers in Central America. And these farmers that we work with, or farmers that we work with, are, are pretty much farmers in the rural communities. Uh, people that live actually you know, miles away from, from, from the towns or from, from, the, from the cities. And these people are, are, are very on uh, you know, their lack of uh, education. Uh, about you know the importance of, of the forests, uh, the importance of um, living, uh, um, improving their nutrition, uh, their diet and stuff. Pretty much when I was uh, working with NCAT, there was a it sort of gave me that experience to actually had that intercultural exchange with, with different um, um, programs in the, in the U.S. such as the NRCS program, the National um, Res uh, Natural Resource uh, uh, Service uh, in, in, in the U.S. Um, I was actually uh, also visited uh, some event, me mental um, groups, NICO, um, at the University of Montana, where I actually had those uh, exchange of ideas of how they can actually probably adapt some of the technologies that we do in Belize and sort of probably they can implement them at their universities, such as the solar latrine, you know, because, you know, these latrine, the flush latrine that we probably have at the university for like environmental groups is something probably they can do at their university. And of course, for me, it was something that uh, actually can open me up to, to sort of um, get ideas from, 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 from their university and something that I can probably in, implement into our educational program in, in, with, with our organization and sort of distribute it to, to the people we work with. The best part of the trip is, is this, you know, meeting different people from around the, around the globe, you know. It's very, the intercultural experience is, is, is what, I, what I really, uh, America is great, there's a lot to see and a lot to do and a lot to learn from America.